Hello everyone. Since at least one person out there will watch this, I am going to do a single player playthrough of Metro Prime Hunters. I will say right now that, uh, you know, the quality of this may not be the best. Obviously, if you've seen my uh, multiplayer videos. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, when I do, say, Super Metroid or Metroid Prime, it, it it will be awesome. Those are my favorite Metroid games ever. This... Um, this will be far from professional, let's just say that. <clears throat> I will try to watch the camera as much as I can to... You know, properly show everything off. You have to admit, though, it's a good camera. The quality showing off screen is very nice. It's a little blurry when it uh, transitions between screens, but... Also, this music is awesome. How do their heads do that? Yeah, Cannon's a bit of a jerk. I'll admit, though, for such an early DS game, they have some pretty cool cutscenes. 2006, that's like the earliest DS game. <laughs> We will start a new game. And do I have to show up both screens? I totally forget. We need to show up the top screen. The secret to ultimate power lies in the Olympic Cluster. This repeating neural thread, originating from an uncharted region of the Tetra Galaxy known as the Olympic Cluster, was recently intercepted and translated by Federation empaths. Rogue Contract. 1. Discover the meaning behind the mysterious telepathic message. 2. If the ultimate power can be secured, ensure Federation control. If the power cannot be secured, ensure that it remains secret or destroy it. Potential Complications. This operation must remain covert. The Tetra Galaxy is outside of Federation-controlled space, and the Olympic Cluster is a wild and uncharted region. Isn't that just Samus's luck? While we have kept our communications classified, we know other entities have intercepted the thread. Which are, you know, the six other hunters. The leer of ultimate power will be irresistible to many. Dis dis disposition of rival interest is presumed hostile. hostile. Uploading known coordinates. Let me get a little map screen. There's only one area we can go to right now. The Celestial Archives. Samus starts off not too great, same as all the other games. On the bottom screen we have your weapon thing, we don't have any weapons yet. Morph Ball, you just tap that to go into Morph Ball mode. Missiles, which we're all out of. And that's your radar. Yeah, you can also tap that to jump. This right here, you hold that in and you bring up your scan visor. 
this will basically be like the mainstay of the game. I will be scanning everything. Because you have to scan everything. Hunter gunship. Hunter class gunship registered to Samus Aaron. Return to this ship to save your progress and to recover your energy. Anything with this little blue square, not sure if you can really see it, is, uh, I think they call them objects. There's the blue square. Celestial Archives. This space station in orbit directly above Alanos is the primary re repository of the combined knowledge of Olympic scholars, scientists, and historians. It might get a little boring now and then because I will seriously be scanning everything. But, um... Portal. This teleporting device is not receiving power. Simple enough. Tap and hold the button centered at the bottom of the touch screen to activate the scan visor. It says that on the bottom. I already explained that. Also, if you guys just want me to read off what's on the bottom and not bother going like this over and over again, then tell me, because for now that's just what I'm going to do. Door. A weak energy shield surrounds this door to keep out roaming creatures. Any weapon will open the door. That here is basically this game's chosen lore. Scan it. Olympic Prophecy 01. It is written that the Olympic power shall materialize when six frequencies shimmer in the divine spectral sequence. That is actually a hint for the end game. We're nowhere near that, obviously. So let's go. Never miss a chance to scan stuff. Like, even just these little random tidbits. The game makes you scan everything. Synergy Drive. This device maintains the orbit and rotation of the space station. Operation appears normal. Which is, you know, good. If that wasn't working, we probably would be in trouble. Synergy Processor. Works in tandem with the Synergy Drive to make subtle changes to the station's orbit and rotation. You guys will be really bored in Metroid Prime. I like scanning literally everything and uh, just just listening to all the little tidbits. Port Helm. The secret to ultimate power lies in the Olympic Cluster. Author and origin unknown. These are some pretty interesting things you can find now and then. Starboard Helm. The secret to ultimate power lies in the Olympic Cluster. Binary irregularities indicate the message was broadcast telepathically. That's actually kind of cool. Lock door. Switch. Same stuff, same stuff. Scan the lock door. Sealed door. Analysis indicates the door is remotely locked. Something nearby may unlock it. This little guy. A switch. A switch can unlock a door or power an object. You scan it, stuff happens. Same as it's always been in Metro Prime. Do. Psycho Bit V10. A levitating spherical sentry droid equipped with the three six. 360 degree sensors and a low level teleportation device. The basic silver model fires an energy blast, whereas the advanced green model. My stylus. Sorry. Features a heavy duty gun powered by a nano scale nuclear reactor. Why am I so bad at reading today? So we got some things to shoot. Basic little robot enemies that will be harassing us throughout the entire game. I don't think there's anything else to scan in here, is there? No, can't scan the boxes. Alright, I just have that to come out of the scan visor. Can't scan the boxes either, I don't think. I believe for things like this, health, you don't have to scan it, you just have to pick it up. Small energy, replenishes 30 units of energy 
expended from the power suit due to battle damage. Energy has also been known to have a rejuvenating effect on alien technology and physiology. Kind of neat. And yeah, charge beam does what it's always done. It attracts items to you. My phone, no, get out of here. Double tap the touch screen or press the jump button to jump. Jump button is R. There should be little dudes floating around here. Yeah, there's one. Come here, you. Petrosil, I think that says. Harmless from a distance, this airborne creature secretes a corrosive toxin that can burn through all but the toughest materials on contact. Not a nice little guy. Synergy strut. Reinforcement pillar for synergy drive. Anything else? What's this? Tetra trade map. Schematic of Olympic interstellar shipping routes. Also, I feel like I missed something. Yeah, I thought so. Navigational chart. Holographic direct directory of the Tetra galaxy. You know, that could actually be useful to have. Scan it. Olympic panel. Alpha waves emanate from the architectural structure. It appears designed to calm the senses and to create an environment ideal for meditation. Oh, that's nice. Wait, wait. Brown blast shield. Analysis indicates the blast shield is impervious to most weapons. A missile may damage it. We have no missiles. That's where this guy comes in. Missile. Small missile pack. Replenishes missile reserves by 10 missiles. I have yet to figure out the difference between large and small missiles. Also, give me another one. Open up. Nothing to scan in here? Nope, nope. more cycle bits. I shouldn't play this for too long at a time because my hand will cramp the heck up. Ah, oh, it's a missile. Those, uh, Alembic data shades are all invisible. Also, gunship transmission. Warning, confirmed arrival of an unidentified vessel at Celestial Archives. Extreme caution is advised. That's not good. We're not alone here. Also, big ol' circular room. That we're now locked into. Ain't that just dandy? Also, tons of stuff to scan. Ah, Olympic artifacts. Artifacts are encoded with program data unique to the Stronghold portal. Three artifacts are necessary to activate the portal. Flash shield. Science hub. Access denied. Olympic scientific data bank severely damaged. This is totally a shield. <laughs> do, do, do. Anything over here? Boing. There's a thingy. What's that thingy? Artifact shield. A security device that protects the artifacts. This device can be unlocked with the proper key. Now, oh, now that we've scanned it, we got a battle on our hands. Not a particularly tough battle, but... This music does not appear enough in this game. I'm not sure where you guys are coming from, but it's tad annoying. Luckily, the power beam also parted my hand. It cramps when I play this. Doesn't matter which control style I use, my hand will cramp eventually. <laughs> I need to take breaks now and then. Which I shall do after this video, which is getting a little long. I expect the videos of this playthrough to be long. Eh. 
any Metroid game, really. Should have long videos. That's our key. Shield key. When retrieved, this dynamic piece of technology will deactivate the artifact shield in the area. Also. Cartograph artifact. The cartograph artifact is encoded with a spatial coordinate of a hidden chamber. Also, I love this music. Ooh. I saw that. What's the scan over here? Hmm. Must be glitching out something on the other side of the wall or something. Do -do. Anything else? Did we get everything? I think that's everything. And now we can get out. First, though, is there anything? Get down of my way. Is there anything in here at all? No? These are just here to be here? Okay. That's where we need to go, right? Oop. Hey, guys. I see health. Enter morph ball mode. To enter small tunnels, tap the morph ball icon in the lower right corner of the touch screen. This guy. Lay bombs by pressing the fire button. Boost by sliding the stylus quickly, quickly across the touch screen. Or by pressing the boost button, which is R. I think... Oh, there's an enemy. Wow, that scanned fast. Lesser Ithrak. This nocturnal creature clings to the ceiling and is exceptionally fierce when disturbed. It's also a weird green thing. is isn't necessarily that hard to fight. Also, bigger energy. Medium energy. 60 units. The rest of the description is exactly the same. I see an E-Tank. I want that E-Tank. Do, do, do. No. Energy tank found. The power suit can now store 100 more units of energy. E tanks are your best friend in Metroid. Unless you're going for a no items run or you're just that pro. Is there anything to scan in this big old room? Well, it's the pillar itself. Cooling fans. High-speed fans cool the synergy reactor. There are signs of severe deter deterioration. Oh, pardon me. Now we hip-hop our way up here. Nothing else to scan. And I am actually going to cut this one here. Be right back for the next long part. One sec.